edition of the Union Football Coaches Show. I'm Rick Corey along with the head football coach, Kirk Frederick, and another playoff season begins with another playoff win. Nice yeah, job. Yeah, it, it's exciting. Week 11, we talk about it all year and, and about being ready to play and, and uh, have an opportunity to have a home playoff game uh, in the big house, you know, the last one uh, that we get to play in that, in that uh, awesome stadium this year. And, uh, man, was it awesome. Our, our seniors had a great night. Uh, played against a, a really stingy UConn team and uh, really proud of our second half performance. So it's a little bit of sloppy pay, play in the first half uh, at times, but overall it was a pretty good pretty good night for us. So let's take a look at the first half, well actually the game stats, and you can just kind of get an idea here of what went on. You know, you take a look at some of the things in here and you can kind of say, oh, it's kind of even. But look at the rushing number, 298 yards. Once again, Union is dominating time of possession by running the football. Yeah, we, we had a great night uh, running the football. And, and uh, one of the stats that, that we keep is, is first down yardage. We had uh, over nine yards average on first down. So uh, I believe, uh, Rick, you could call plays if you had nine yards on first down. So, uh, but uh, guys played really well up front. Really proud of those guys. Uh, had some breakdowns in the special team, so some of those yard, yards are hidden there for UConn. They had a kick return for a touchdown, and, and uh, so they had a couple more yards than that. But um, I think in the first half, uh, defensively, we gave up about 50 yards of offense, which I was really proud of with the, with the triple option uh, aspect that we had. Um, so, um, you know, you don't want to have the, the, the turnovers. I mean, you can see a lot of numbers down there, fortunately. You know, defensively, we were able to force four turnovers on the night, so uh, that helped us out. But um, ground game, playoff time, that's something that you definitely want to have uh, in check. And the 251 yards passing, too, balance, and that's what you're looking for. Make them look at everything. Yeah, there's, you know, Coach Maddox does a really good job of, of presenting lots of different things and uh, multiple guys uh, touching the ball and those things. Rovon had an outstanding night, probably about as good a performance as you can have. A, you know, we. We pass out candy bars to the kids for different types of explosive plays or touchdowns, and and uh, Rovon had 12 of those. So um, it's uh, it's definitely you know he's gonna I don't know if he can make a meal out of that or what, but I, I imagine most of those went to the offensive line. Yeah, I say you might want to make sure he eats those at the end of the year. Yeah. And Rovon is your player of the game offense. He is, he is. As we said, he had you know 250 yards passing, about 120 rushing. So. Uh, that's pretty good for just about anyone. And then Bryce Ashlock on defense. I've said his name yeah. so many times this year. He's just been everywhere. Bryce is a junior linebacker for us. Uh, had 11 tackles, a sack. I mean, caused a fumble. Um, just was everywhere. I think he had three hurries on the night on the quarterback in the passing game, so did a great job for us. And then on, on special teams, Jaden Rowe. He's a guy yeah. who's he's close all the time on special teams to making big plays. Yeah, he had a great play. We talked to our kids a lot about – making huge plays um, uh, before the game and talked about that, you know, teams in the past and the playoffs, those players make plays and you get the opportunity, you either are or you aren't. And, and Jaden Rowe had an amazing night. Uh, he took a fake punt for, uh, a, uh, not only got the first down, but got a touchdown out of it. And, and uh, of course, with his speed, when he gets an open field, it can be pretty dangerous. Yeah, there's nothing like a speed kills. As a, a, a right. really wise guy who won a couple of national championships at Oklahoma once said. All right, we'll come back with the first half highlights of Union and UConn. A little later on, we'll talk about the next playoff game coming up next on the Union Football Coaches Show. We're athletes. Coaches. And your child's high school athletic trainer. We're your friends and neighbors. And we make our home. Our home in green country. Like you, we run. And fish. Hike. And bike. We enjoy the mountains. And lakes. So we know how important staying active is to you. Staying active is to you. We're physicians. And therapists. Our groundbreaking treatments. Are helping you heal faster. Helping you heal faster. We're advanced orthopedics of Oklahoma. And we're the team physicians for more universities. More high schools. And more club teams than all other providers combined. We're focused on providing you personalized orthopedic care. Personalized orthopedic care. Treating the area's best teams. And the athlete in all of us. And the athlete in all of us. Back for segment two of the Union Football Coaches Show. I'm Rick Corey. That's the head coach, Kirk Frederick. Let's get right to the first half highlights of Union and UConn. Playoff time for the Red Hawks. Hey, you slipped the Red Hawks in there. First time going out to that announcement. Kids were excited about that. Pretty cool. 
Uh, I, I've been trying to figure out what to call this this entrance, you know, and uh, with the with the, the truss and all that. Brian Day on his guys. I just call it the rock concert. We run out to it, a, a pretty cool light show there. Get started off quick here to Demon. Demon uh, gets the edge. Got good blocking on the edge there. There's Jaden Rowe and Junior. Excellent blocking. Um, Demon Sanders getting the ball early in the game. He does a great job with that. Come back with a little bit of quarterback draw. And uh, UConn does a great job, knocks the ball out, so not the way you want to start the start the game for us, but they come right back. Here comes that triple option. Makai makes him pitch it early. They don't handle it well, so we get the ball right back. There's Bryce Aslock, defensive player of the game, comes up with the ball. Obviously, you know, trying to give it to the head coach there. <laughs> here comes uh, here comes Jaden around the corner. There's a lot of that speed and uh, gets the edge. I like how he breaks a tackle and and really kind of is a, a game changer for us, uh, uh, getting him the ball with that kind of uh, ability that he has. Really nice block by, uh, by junior. junior there. Oh yeah, Junior. You know, Junior went over a thousand yards on the season uh, rushing, and uh, he's also an excellent uh, player for us. He had a uh, great block on that play. Here we go. We got Gabe coming in defensively. Gabe um, did a great job. Gabe Ford at linebacker. You can see our guys. There's Jamori stringing it out to the edge and. Get them out of bounds there. Lots of things that we have to look for uh, in that type of attack, and defensively, we're able to, to get a three and out. Ball comes into Makai. Makai makes a great cut. Uh, excellent job. Kai Belt uh, with, the, uh, um, with the play there. You can see Rovon gets the ball out to him. Got excellent blocking downfield. DeMond with great blocking on the edge. Gino as well. And then Makai gets a nice, uh, nice yardage out of it. Got the quarterback uh, uh, run game going. Get inside the, the red zone there with Belt. Had a great night. Again, kind of run through tackles. Doing a really nice job. Get Junior involved in the game. Just that whole front side of the line right there. Excellent job by Emmerich and, and uh, Big D and all those guys just kind of caving it down. You can see right there, great block at the guard position. You got uh, Lane Wood in there and then uh, of course, Jackie out there at receiver, keeping his block going, and, and Junior goes in for the touchdown. It looked like a lot of space to Junior when he bounced out. There's one of those great plays by Bryce. Does a great job uh, inside there. Really nice job uh, by Bryce at linebacker. Good coverage down the field uh, by Jackie. Pretty good pressure there. Nice job by Bryce. Again, come back uh, with, with uh, great pressure on the punt. And unfortunately, we just kind of mishandle it. Uh, a couple of mistakes that, that take place there and, and uh, gives, uh, gives UConn the ball uh, on, on uh, our end of the field. Defense is going to ask you guys to step up a little bit. They get a nice stop there. There's Makai, makes a great, great play, gets him to pitch it out. And we just, uh, we just mit, misfit on the pitch and uh, give them that extra yardage, stuff you don't want to do. Uh, but now we're in the red zone. We've got to try to make a big play. You see Big D at nose guard makes a nice stop. Bryce is in there as well on the sprint draw. A lot of other guys, Braylon Irvin Fisher there. Great job tipping the ball away. And we force him to uh, uh, kick a field goal. On the turnover, you want your defense to, to uh, try to make some big plays and force that type of a, of a field goal instead of a touchdown. So they did their work. Let's get the offense back and see if we can't try to extend the lead. Great cut by Junior, excellent job. Had it all sealed off. Great, great vision. Does a super job with it. Unfortunately, we're just a little careless again. And as I said uh, uh, before we watched the highlights here, man, we're just um, just missing on a few few of the plays and, and uh, not quite as clean as you want it to be. But then Junior comes out and just makes it all worthwhile. Junior comes in and makes a great play. Here's DeMond again has done a really good job on this little hand sweep that we've got with him. Gets a lot of yardage for that one. Unfortunately, we get behind the chains a few times in this half as well. Come back. Now, what a great strike and great concentration by Makai. You can see the protection's really good. I mean, the guy is all over him. Makai catches the football. Uh, he's doing a really nice job it's for a us. tight window. That was a big, big conversion for us. Here we are, DeMond again on a little hand sweep, gets to the edge, a lot of action with our guys, um, just making a lot of, a lot of excellent blocks 
Uh, you can see good technique. You get a good, great seal block there by RJ uh, on the edge. You got Will there as well. Excellent uh, effort down the field, and of course, uh, Rovon just running tough. Again, Rovon getting into the end zone, kind of a little bit of a divide play there off the sweep. Great block there by D, the pulling guard around the edge, and, and Rowe takes it into the end zone. Really patient as a runner, too. Waits for blocks, follows guys. A lot of strength uh, to carry the, the linebacker into the hole. Come back with the kickoff, and uh, we just, uh, special teams wise, we just misfit some stuff, and you gotta give credit to UConn. Uh, outstanding player, coach's kid, comes in and gets a, a big kick return uh, all the way into the end zone. And, Man, it just uh, just seems like they wouldn't go away. Good, tough team, playoff team, and uh, so we've got to make sure we get a handle on it. Get the ball outside the junior, another really good cut. Uh, didn't look like much, but he's chewing up about eight or nine yards on that. Uh, they, they do a great job on the blitz, kind of uh, stop that series. Defensively, let's go back out and make it tough on them. Here they are with the lead play. Great job there. Point of attack, and then Fisher from the backside makes a nice play. Gets them into a, uh, a longer yardage situation. I thought our guys covered up well down the field. There's Jamori Ray with the excellent job on coverage. So it gets, gets the ball back to us. And you see we come back, a really smart play uh, by Rovon. Um, just pulls the ball down and and get something out of the boot play. I mean, he's certainly looking to throw first. Def definitely start. doing that. See stuff is covered up and love the, just the effort from our guys uh, blocking downfield. Here we are again. Rowe picks up a lot of good yardage, a lot of guys uh, just kind of moving the front. There's Junior again. Excellent job. Uh, looks like nothing is there. It makes a great, great cut. There's another uh, great job by the fake and then Rowe picks up the, the touchdown for us. Not getting hold right there, just hands inside, good block. Defensively, we've got to make sure that we try to hang on to the lead that we have. Get a great uh, uh, execution here. Here's Gabe, you've got Mackay coming on the blitz. Gabe wrapping around the edge and does a really nice job with it. They pick up a couple of plays, a couple of uh, yards here on the dive play. Get the ball out quick. I really like the, the receiver tailback guy uh, from UConn. The Han kid did a really nice job. Here we are. The ball's on our end of the field. We've got to make sure that we uh, play really tough as it gets down into the red zone. And you can see our guys coming up, and, and uh, D Rob comes up with the interception. That's good pressure. Devin Robinson, excellent job coming off the receiver. And, uh, uh, seeing the ball and making a great, uh, great interception. Rovon, man, just tough running inside. Runs through the first, uh, first guy, breaks a few tackles again. Really nice job, good scheme up front. Our guys wrapping around the edge. Uh, I don't know if Lane, Lane almost didn't have anybody there to block because he came around the corner. We had it all blocked up so well. Here's Gino, great job. Uh, gets the ball in his hands and. You know, probably trying to make up for that punt return that, that uh, we mishandled. And, and Rovon puts it right in there. Geno Boyd breaks three tackles, knocks a guy down, and for a sophomore, that's pretty good. Goes in for the end zone. Really seeing him kind of explode here late in the year. Really gain a lot of confidence, really proud of, of what he's done. There he is again, kind of shrugs that off and then picks up some speed and, and uh, gets into the end zone. Pretty exciting. Uh, playoff, wearing the black jerseys there. Uh, a lot of fun being at home and then, of course, having the lead. So, some things have gone well, some things have not gone well. You had plenty to talk about at the half. Yeah, we did. We just challenged the kids. With, they've worked too hard not to play the game, you know, at a high level. And there were a few concentration mistakes that I think we need to focus in on. And, uh, I love how they responded in the second half. All right, so we'll come back and get the second half highlights of Union and UConn. Round one of the playoffs next here on the Union Football Coaches Show. Diet Coke? Are you my mom? You should be so lucky. Because you know what moms do? Well, I suppose we should start with the whole giving you life thing. It seems like that should be enough. No? Okay. 
What about her ability to send shockwaves through the neighborhood without saying a word? Or whip up a ridiculous handmade costume that you forgot to tell her about? Not to make you happy, but because she had a reputation to uphold. She invented Rideshare, called it Carpool, and did it for free. She didn't need those dating apps either. You copied her jeans, her spin, her shoes, her scrunchie, and whether you realize it or not, her music. Why not? Oh, and she can win any argument in four words. Because I said so. Everything you're trying to do, she's already done it, did it better, and she did it with a Diet Coke in her hand. So, drink what your mama gave you. Welcome back to the Union Football Coaches Show. Kirk Frederick, the head coach. I'm Rick Corey. Let's get right to the second half highlights of Union and UConn. Look at that student thing. Oh, awesome job. They've had some great, great energy and spirit all year long. Had the red out theme and uh, did a great job with our students. Excellent job again defensively. We come out, uh, want to try to play the third quarter well. Look at the really nice pressure inside there by Bryce and, and uh, UConn completes the play. There's Bryce again, probably said his name so many times. You get also Jackson Jennings in there making a nice play. Excellent job, you see uh, Makai Belt coming off the edge, does a great job. There's Matthias chasing the quarterback out. And again, everybody where they're supposed to be and, and cover it up and make them punt. Great job by uh, Junior. Again, just a, an excellent job. Great vision, great cut, good patience. Excellent job down here by Gino as well. Down in the end zone, unfortunately. Uh, we get a holding call on the back side of the play and uh, makes us go back and redo it. Get the ball down the field to Jackie. Uh, forces a, uh, a fourth down situation, so uh, let's, uh, let's see if we can get the ball to Jaden and just watch, watch, him, uh, watch him work here. He's so fast, he's jogging into the end zone. Yeah, it's a, you know, those are things I've been working with him on, is, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. a little bit of that stride, those kinds of things. I say jokingly. Uh, Jaden, uh, excellent, excellent effort, and then Gage uh, Arthur on that play, the blocking that he had was uh, outstanding. Defensively, we'll go, go in here, D-Rob with a nice pass breakup. There's another one by Makai Belt, one of those that we wish we had back. They come back, hey, if one team can fake a punt, we can too, and and uh, they do a, a nice job and uh, convert that one. There's Jackson in there on the tackle uh, from the defensive line position. Quarterback uh, get a lot of great pressure in here. Great job there uh, by R.J. Wilson. R.J. with the nice, just kind of persistent in his, in his pass rush. Gets to the level of the quarterback, comes back in and, and picks up the scrambling quarterback. Here we are with Junior again, good block, point of attack as uh, from Will Thomas, as Junior picks up some nice yardage. Rovon has to scramble out just a little bit, keeps his eyes downfield. Really, as you said earlier, Rick, a nice job with that, and then scrambles out for a first down. Really good vision, good strength by Junior. Uh, love this play, a lot of our guys just continue to, to uh, uh, keep the play going, and a lot of guys putting out effort uh, to try to pick up another first down. Come back over the top with a post, and uh, so exciting. Uh, we've, we've missed on some of those this year, and uh, pretty exciting to see us air that one out. And then uh, Jakari Jenkins at wide receiver, just a mainstay for us at that position and corner as well, and picks up uh, the big touchdown. Yeah, that's, a, that's a great stride there, and he's got some speed. Starting to get a little bit of cushion. I love the way our guys have responded. Man, look at the, the effort by Braylon as he comes in. Braylon with a nice job coming underneath, picks up a big uh, big play there, big quarterback sack. Get the ball down the field. Our guys covered up well off of play action. And uh, I don't know what it is about guys that want to catch interceptions and return into everyone else instead of, fo <laughs> instead of following their own guys, but uh, uh, we try to coach them to go near sideline. I'm, I'm joking here, what a great job by, by uh, Jamori. Again, uh, I think if he would have followed Gabe, he might have got in and scored on this one, but uh, uh, really a lot of fun to watch those guys make a big time play. Try to get the quarterback sweep here, and they do a nice job with it. Uh, forces us to a, a fourth down situation, but uh, TJ keeps us 100% inside the red zone with that one. We were four for four. Really nice job. TJ's been so steady all year. 
Going to start to try to sub a few guys and some points uh, and see if we can uh, get some guys some valuable playing time as we get into uh, get into the, the playoff run here. So you'll see a few names in here as our guys are, uh, are scrambling around uh, going into the fourth quarter. A lot of subs in on that D line and uh, uh, probably guys that didn't get as many reps on the triple option as they, they needed to. But again, really nice play. There's LJ Brandon in there, Thomas Gothard at corner as well. Uh, LJ again doing a nice job uh, making plays. You got Lipsy in there at defensive end, junior defensive end making a nice stop. You got Day Day there at corner, a sophomore corner. It's gonna be a really good player for us, making a big play inside as well. See Jeff Hartley in there, making some nice, nice plays at D-line. There's Rhett Rogers in there as well, and uh, uh, making a nice play. Make him snap it. You're gonna have to drive it all the way down. Guys cover it up really well, do a nice job with it. Get the penalty, which extends the drive for them. They come back here with the little sprint draw action, and uh, you can see that a lot of our guys are in play and uh, make a nice stop on it. Get the holding call, backs them back out. You can see LJ in there on pressure as well. And just love the way our guys are playing. Uh, DeBose, uh, Zion DeBose in there making a nice uh, pressure on the quarterback. There's Eddie Pointer as well. And unfortunately, they just get behind us and execute it and, and pick up a touchdown. With that long drive, we had, um, uh, you know, offense had was sitting on the field for, uh, or on the uh, sideline for quite some time. We come back out. And you can see that uh, really nice job by Gino. I love the way that uh, uh, we threw the ball in there on the slant. Uh, those types of plays you're going to have to be able to execute off the RPO. And then, of course, Gino, a um, couple of times tonight, has got the ball in his hands and, and uh, broke through tackles, and he goes in for another touchdown. Give guys a lot to look at on film, isn't it? Really, really going to be a good player. Is has really developed all year long as a special teams player. and. And um, again, just got great hands and, and good vision. So one in the books. Got this one. This is the one you wanted. You want to win in the playoffs. A lot of, a lot of teams over the years, you know, have talked about, hey, let's just make the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, we've always had the attitude of let's win in the playoffs, right? You know, in order to win a championship, you got to win, win the next one. And uh, uh, we were able to get this one in the books. And, and move on to the semifinal round. And the real key, be able to practice on Thanksgiving. We, we sure hope so. so. We'll go see if we can do that next. All right, so when we come back, we're going to take a look at the up close and personal and get the pictures from this game, and then we'll look ahead. Yep, there's another round to come. More Union football on the Coaches Show next right here. Has this ever happened to you? Man, I'm just lacking school spirit today. Well, look no further. Come into the U-Wear store for all your Union wants and needs. The U Wear Spirit Store, located on the west side of the UMAC, makes it easy for you to show everyone how big of a Union fan you are with a complete line of Union apparel and goods. We have everything from hats, shirts, jackets, accessories, and more. Take a listen to this happy and satisfied customer. Before I came to the U Wear Store, no one could tell that I went to Union, but now, since I shopped here, I'm rocking with school spirit. In addition to a wide variety of clothing, the U Wear Store offers items for your desk, car, and even jewelry. New items are shipped regularly and sales are frequent. Before I went to the Uber store, I felt like I wasn't a part of the school. But now with all this Union merch, I feel more included more than ever. So what are you waiting for? Stop by the Uber store today. Students, don't forget to bring IDs for 10% off. Back again on the Union Football Coaches Show. I'm Rick Corey. That's Kirk Frederick, the head coach. Time for us to get a look at up close and personal. Some of those good still pictures from the game. Yeah, well, I, I, again, one of my favorite segments each week is the to see what the camera has captured here. There's uh, Matthias Robinson, love, love seeing Matthias. He's been a great player for us for three years and senior defensive end, does, a, does an excellent job. He'll get to play on Saturday. Uh, there's Makai Belt. Uh, Makai had some great plays defensively as well as offensively playing some receiver. There's Gabe in there in the background. There's Gabe coming in, uh, uh, excellent job on the pitch man, on, court, on the uh, receiver there. Uh, did a great job, and of course, all those guys in black following in. There's Makai as well, uh, senior uh, receiver for us, and also plays some nickel and corner. And man, anything we've asked him to do, he stepped up and made those plays this year. There's Bryce. Uh, I believe that's the opening uh, uh, fumble on the pitch there as he hits the quarterback. 
makes an errant pitch off of it, and uh, it's hard to pitch with your eyes closed, I yes, think. So, yeah. uh, and we we get a great play there by Bryce. What a great picture there, Coach Greenwood, Coach Young, Coach Ulibarri, seeing that offensive line and tight ends. Uh, excellent job there. There's Gino coming around the corner. Um, really nice job as we talked about Gino and some of the plays he made after he caught the ball. There's Big D, uh, Demarion Thomas, as I like to call him, Big Lunch, and uh, just uh, been a mainstay for us on both sides of the line and uh, excellent uh, junior lineman for us. And then, of course, Nate Marshall at center, senior, and then Rovon, a couple of seniors there. Uh, great photo. I just love the uniform um, combo that we have here. I look forward to it every year. Uh, having those black jerseys on, you can see the old line there with Nate and Demond Sanders. Um, really, again, just a, an excellent look for our kids and, and photos that we'll be able to keep for a long time. And by the way, those are from David Fisher, and you can get those at dcfisherphotos.com and download those for free. All right, so we got a little, about a minute and a half here. Let's talk about this next round against Broken Arrow. It will be at Owasso, which is the, the neutral site, if you will. This is uh, maybe the most improved team week one to week 10 or 11 is this Broken Arrow group that could be argued, but they're, they've changed a lot. Different at quarterback, Griffin Steber's done, and they started handing the ball to Marion Hornet. What are you seeing different? Yeah, I, 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 first off, I've got to get a lot of respect for what uh, their team has done and what their coaching staff has done and their players. Um, that's not easy to have some adversity early on to make some um, decisions in personnel and shift some guys around and and uh, we all look, as coaches, we look for qualities in kids that, that just want to just want to play whatever it is to, to help the team. And um, they've made some adjustments, and, man, they are clicking right now. They're, they're averaging over 40 points a game. Uh, had a great win against Owasso in the first round. And uh, just doing the things they need to do to, to win the football game. And, um, again, a lot of, lot of respect for what they've done. It will be tough. The Horn kid at tailback is – it's excellent, but the way they're executing up front with their offensive line, the things they're doing, the pressure they're applying defensively, uh, it's going to be a, a much different Broken Arrow team than we faced in the first game. And uh, we won that game by 10, but that doesn't mean anything this time of year. No, and they, they also, of course, are willing to pull a little bit of everything out of the playbook right now, which they've showed you, which means you've got a lot to look at too. But really, it's always been about union, right? Well, it is, and that's one of the things that you, know, you try to focus on in a big week like this is don't forget – what we're playing for you know don't forget what's next I mean this is a this is an opportunity to try to get to the championship and a chance to try to practice on Thanksgiving but it ought to be a lot of fun I'm looking forward to it again Friday night 7 o'clock at Owasso Union and Broken Arrow we'll see you there